Today, we will be featuring a double reptile team against double aquas. I'm still relative new to the build, but I'm learning along the way. For our front line, we want to plant with leaf bug and yam. We want to generate energy fast to use our four card combo on our mid lane. As for yam, the poison debuff goes very well with thorny which deals onwards of 160 damage to plants. For our mid line, we want a reptile with tri spikes, incisor and thorny. The key card here is tri spikes, as the opponent is required to guess whether you're attacking his front line or you're intending to backdoor his mid or backline axie. In the event that he casts a bunch of shield on his plant axie, his axes at the back are at risk of dying. In the event that he doesn't cast shield on his plant, his plant dies easily to thorny. For our backline, we are going with a standard terminator. The skills required are snail shell, tiny turtle, lagging, and thorny. It is excellent in a one versus one situation. But if you're up against an opponent with a card gravel ant, you're probably gonna lose. As you can see now, we have managed to chain our four card tri spikes combo on our mid lane reptile. The enemy decides to shield up his plant, which means that his aqua is dead. We also know that by shielding his plant, he has already used one pumpkin. However, he managed to steal one of our energy with Sirius, which is why we can't chain four cards again. The enemy is once again in a dilemma. He needs to decide whether to shield up his plant or to shield up his backline aqua. This is the power of a mid lane reptile with tri spikes. It keeps the opponent guessing, and you have a choice to decide whether you want to backdoor his back axis or not. As compared to a beast or aqua, it is also worth to note that a reptile usually has more health, which means that it is more likely to survive through a four card attack. Reptiles are also less susceptible to being backdoored in a single round, especially by birds with skills such as little owl or wing horn or by aquas with the backdoor skill shrimp. At this point in time, we know that the opponent is low on energy and can only use two cards. If he uses two aqua cards, he might not be able to cleanly kill our mid lane reptile. He can only kill our reptile by using Ronin which is a beast card that is effective against the reptile class. However, with two cards, he is unable to trigger the critical strike from Ronin. Since he is unable to destroy our mid lane reptile, we choose to kill his plant with as little energy spent as possible from our backline terminator. This is to prepare ourselves with sufficient energy for a 1v1 situation between our terminator and the enemy's aqua. There is no point in shielding up on our mid lane reptile after the opponent has sacrificed his plant. He will have 4 energy and he will cast risky fish to gain 1 attack buff followed by Ronin which deals more than 200 damage on our reptile. Going into our 1v1 battle, we use our terminator to cast lagging in the attempt to slow the aqua down followed by chomp to leave the enemy in stun. Even though the aqua is in stun mode and our next attack will cut through his shield. We have to take note that his speed is faster, so he'll go first. We should not make the mistake of casting thorny as our first skill on this round. Instead, we'll stick with the traditional combo. In this matchup, we're featuring a double aqua team that has gravel ant on his back lane aqua. When we're using terminators and we're up against an enemy with gravel ant, there is a high chance that we'll lose. Gravel ant is a skill that disables all melee cards on the next turn, which coincidentally happens to be all the cards that a terminator is using. As we can see now, the enemy was very aggressive with his attack. This is partly due to the fact that I casted Yam on the first round, and he managed to avoid being poisoned by choosing to pass the round. He anticipated that I wouldn't use Yam again on the second turn, and he was right. This way, his mid and back lane aquas will not be poisoned by defensive Yam. Since we know that the enemy is low on energy this round, there is high chance he will be passing. So, we try our best to spend as little energy as possible to sweep his plan off. It is always good to bear in mind that we should only use Thorny on an enemy Axie that is debuffed. 
This includes being slowed by lagging, being poisoned by yam, or being stunned by chomp. After passing the round, we know that the enemy is gonna attack heavily next. We also know that the enemy's aquas are faster than our mid lane reptile, which puts our reptile in a dangerous position. At this point in time, we want to shield up our mid lane reptile so that he doesn't die on this turn and hopefully survives till the next round. Even though the enemy has casted 5 high damage cards, our reptile was able to sustain the blows. This is where the magic of tri spikes happen. Since the enemy has casted more cards on his mid lane aqua, the mid lane aqua has more shield than his back lane aqua. In response, our tri spikes combo will be targeted on the back lane aqua. Now, the enemy has ran out of cards on his mid lane aqua, and his back lane aqua is stunned. He needs to waste one energy away to get rid of the stun, followed by two additional cards to cleanly kill our mid lane reptile. This is advantageous for us, as the enemy will be running low on energy on the next round. Since we know that the enemy has wasted one gravel ant previously, we need to keep in mind that he still has another gravel ant to disable us. So, we want to use as many cards as possible to confidently kill his mid lane aqua. We are praying that he does not have a 4 card combo to clean us in the next turn that we are fully disabled. This is why terminators have a bad matchup against enemies who have gravel ant. Even though the enemy only has 5 health, we cannot use a single card when we are being disabled. All we can do is simply stare at our terminator in hopes that he stays alive. Fortunately, we managed to survive through 3 high damage cards from the enemy's aqua. Now, we want to put on as much shield as possible while dishing out a decent amount of damage. It is beneficial to know that Chomp can cut through defense, which means that any damage card after Chomp would effectively take down the enemy. For our last battle in this video, we will be demonstrating the importance of dealing some damage to the enemy's plant in the early game. It is optimal to bring the enemy's plant health to be below 400 health before chaining our 4 card combo our mid lane reptile. We want to either kill the aqua or kill the plant. We don't want to be stuck in a situation, whereby our tri spikes combo ended up on the plant, but we are unable to finish him off. It will make matter worse. If we decide to kill the plant axie cheaply, only to end up in the scenario, whereby the enemy shields up thickly with pumpkin. Even though we can chain our 4 card tri spike combo now, we should choose to deal some damage to the enemy's plant first. We will then chain our 4 card tri spike combo on the next turn. One careless mistake when it comes to using terminators is using a single thorny on an enemy axie that is not debuffed yet. As much as possible. We want to cast lagging to slow the enemy followed by thorny to deal higher damage. Now, we can finally blast the enemy down with our 4 card combo by our mid lane reptile. As you can see, even though the enemy casted some shield on his plant, we were still able to eliminate him. Since aquas inherently have higher speed than reptiles, it is natural for them to go first. If we were to use too many energy in the early game with our plant or terminator, we wouldn't have enough energy to cast high shield on our mid lane reptile. It is vital that our mid lane reptile survives through this round and deals some damage to the enemy. In the event that we are able to use tri spikes, we can take this opportunity to dish out some damage to the enemy's back lane axie. In the next round, we will not be casting any cards on the mid lane reptile. We will be sacrificing it, as it is too risky to gamble that the enemy isn't gonna break through our shield. Instead, we'll use our terminator to finish off the enemy's mid lane axie. It is important that we deal slightly more damage than required, 
so that the enemy's mid lane Axie wouldn't be left on last stance. If the enemy goes into last stance, he'll be generating two additional energy, whereas we'll need to waste one turn to get rid of the Axie. It'll be disadvantageous for us in a 1v1 situation. Now, we simply do the standard Terminator chain combo. If the enemy breaks through the shield of our snail shell attack, he will be stunned and miss his next attack. If we were to end off our combo with Chomp, the enemy will also miss his next attack. With 4 energy that we can use, we're off to a good start in this 1v1 battle. As mentioned previously, if the enemy's Aqua uses Goldfish on his attack, every single attack from us will give him one speed buff. This means that for the subsequent round, he will definitely be faster than us. The good thing is as Terminators, be it a Reptile or a Dusk, we have a class advantage against Aquas. We will deal slightly more damage than usual to them, and on the flip side, they will deal slightly less damage to us. The enemy chooses to cast one card and save energy on this turn. He was smart enough to use Goldfish, so that if he survives through this round, he is able to go first on the next round. In the event that he is able to land two critical hits in a row, he would have clutched and won the game with 25 health. Luckily, he didn't manage to critical hit us. <laughs> 